Um, I just got open, <laughs> and I was just being aggressive enough to uh, just try to step up there with some confidence and hit some shots. But um, just moving, just uh, just trying to get in the right position. But I was just Johnny on the spot. I mean, I I just couldn't be in some better positions some of the time. And I just ended up there, and um, and it just you know it's just luck sometimes, and it's just sometimes you know you're playing you know you're playing hard. Sometimes good things just happen to you. Um, I tried taking it personal a little more, uh, you know. Dwayne gave me some jabs ever since, ever since that game, saying he had 34 points all on me. And uh, so I just, you know, just tried taking it personally and just trying to shut him down anyway I could. I think um, just as a team, we kept fighting back. And, and um, you know, we've, we've had a couple good practices the last couple of days. Um, and we got back to kind of what we were, what we usually do, you know, um, just flying around on defense. So it was huge just to, to just keep coming back and, and not letting uh, us being down affect us. We were talking about it after the game uh, when when Moby is packed and it's you know it's rocking like that. You know it's one of the hardest places to play, especially in this conference. Um, it's as loud as anywhere we go. And uh, everybody talks about the pit. You know they talk about Vegas being loud. Um, you know Moby Moby is one of the louder gyms, and uh, when you know when they're rocking and we we you know we really do get we really do get some out of it. You know it brings our games up, up another level. And Pierce Horney comes out and gets a tip dunk that I haven't seen him jump that high in my life. And I, J.D. Luster. J.D. Luster is uh, as good a defender as there is around. Uh, he just, um, he's so quick and he makes every catch contested. And then he, he gets over screens. It's hard to screen him and find him to screen him. And then he's really quick and he guards a dri drive. And he's, he's got great hands. He tips and deflects. So you're always, you know, he's small. And if you guys have a dog or a child, and uh, if you've ever walked in your kitchen and the dog or the little kid's right under you and you kind of start falling over them, that's J.D. for 40 minutes. Will probably gave us everything he could. Uh, I don't know what his status was going to be. I just know I wasn't going to be able to keep him off the floor for this game. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, the knees just swelled back up. Bottom line, it just, you know, traveling home from T.C., all of a sudden we get home and the knees all swollen up. And um, he tried to play against Boise and was... You know, we couldn't even play in the last 12 minutes. That had a big effect. And tonight, you know, I thought he was pretty good early, and then you could just see as he went down, as the game wore on, it got more difficult for him. New Mexico is so good. I think everybody was just really surprised they struggled early. How they're not a top 25 team, I don't know. They probably will be by Monday, but, um, I mean, they're so good. I mean, and, I mean they, they have – they're nine deep, maybe ten, of, like, guys that could start for other teams – easy. I mean, so they got it going on. That'll be fun, but I'm going to enjoy this one first.